Babsi. Man, oh man, it's cold. It is cold. Just bring it down my cups in the rubbish. Oh, weather. That weather. Keep on for a bit. Alexa, what time is it? a.m. That's the box is my door. I've been up for hours, my stupid right hip. It's a right ass. Let's give him a chip. Oh, come on, blinds. Oh, man overboard. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. At least I've still got fencing. I suppose that's something. Oh, right. Kettle on. Feed the cat. Are you hungry, Babs? You want food? Hey. <laughs> Back downstairs again. Time for some late lunch. So I'm going to heat up the dinner that I made last night. My hip is really giving me jib today. When I go back upstairs, I'm going to put some deep heat on it as well. annoying me. So yeah, so I'm going to heat up. It looks absolutely man manky cold, but I'm going to have this as kind of like early dinner, late lunch, because I'm hungry and I've been watching YouTube videos of food on it and it's made me hungry. So I'm just going to put this on medium, medium high. <coughs> first and then give it a stir about. Oh, let's see how the weather's doing. Oh, my hip guys, it's doing my nut in. I haven't even gone into this room yet. We've been in the bed watching YouTube videos which doesn't help. That's the thing with arthritis. is you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. If you walk about you get sore and if you sit down you get sore so you can't bloody win. Of course I was kind of laying on my side in bed watching YouTube videos which hasn't helped my hip that I've been laying on. But yeah, so I'm gonna finish heating this up. Eat it, get some deep heat on my hip, and um, finish watching um, one of the YouTube videos that I started watching. And then, and then, <laughs> she says procrastinating, and then I'll get stuck back into doing another box or two in my row. So she had just polished off her lunch as well. See, is it good? <laughs> so that's last night's dinner now for my kind of late lunch stroke dinner. It's a huge plate though. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish that, but hey how it's got to be in today anyway. So I'll eat, at least eat half of it. So I'm going to go back up and um, plate still hot. I'll let the plate cool down so I can carry it upstairs, but... I think I'll just take the towel because no doubt I am such a messy eater. I'm going to get this everywhere. So I'll take the towel anyway, I think. So, yeah. Oh, I don't normally like summer and stuff like that, but God, I wish there was some sunshine right now. And back up the stairs. I still do with these stairs, but I'm not, I'm not risking it. I'll wait till someone's here with me in case I get sore or I'll just ask them to do it or when the towel is here. I'll ask her to do it for me. And I'm gonna get back into my pit. Finish watching, it was a cleaning video I was watching actually. <laughs> and um, have my lunch stroke dinner. So clearing out the room and it's kind of, <laughs> he's back to square one in the hallway. That lot's got going bin and recycling because that stuff I cleared out. A spare box and Ikea bags, which I bought off Amazon uh, to get my daughter because she's getting ready to move. This box could be also got my daughter to use for her packing or whether I'm keeping it for stuff that's in mine. This is some old bed sheets that my mum gave me for painting. So she probably wants them back. It's one of my daughter's bags. I'll just find out if she wants it back or whether it's to go in the bin. So we shall see. Oh, I'm absolutely shattered. So in here, it kind of looks like it doesn't, it's not changed, but 
that's a bag of my clean washing box I've got to sort out over there stuff that's kind of uh, going to charity or stuff for selling so I'm just about to pack that all in there and then that will go in my wardrobe this is a box of stuff for bedroom I sort out a couple of books it's like clothes and whatnot in here and this is kind of all for my room still got to be sorted out there's like four bags of like photos paperwork letters kids certificates you know like all the stuff they have growing up from school in there there's obviously a lot more up at the family house but this is what I have here that's got to be sorted out this is what I'm saying I want to get proper storage boxes photo albums scrapbooks so that's my mission so if any of my girls are watching this which they probably are when you're in town any photo albums any kind of scrapbooks any little plastic boxes with lids for storage if you could pick them up that'd be great because I need, I need all this sorted because yeah it's just all slowly getting destroyed in there and I can't be doing with that because that's this is the stuff that's going to get passed down to them when I'm no longer here so it's got to be sorted and then that laminate's going to go up loft and obviously that's the bits for my bed so I'm kind of getting there I don't have any more coat hangers to put any more hang any more clothes up or anything and to be honest it oh all my clothes need sorting out anyway because a lot of it I just don't wear, I just don't like anymore, it's not my kind of thing. So I'll probably either get divided between family and friends or go to charity or whatever. Um, yeah, there's a lot of it I just don't wear anymore. Oh, excuse me, I'm always freaking yawning, I do apologise. What are you doing? You're trying to get in a pink see-through box. She's seriously going to sit there. You're going to sit in that clear box, you numpty. <laughs> that's my old, um, like a hostess trolley thing. That's going to go in the bin. That can go for recycling or whatever. Bag of toys. It's got to go in a proper toy box. An ottoman when I get it. That's going to go downstairs. Up there is Shadow's pet carrier. That's my big box. Doesn't look like a big box, but it is. Of erasers. The eraser collection. I've still got it. And um, they're all up there as well. Got some empty boxes, so I've got boxes for a swap box whenever I do them, or like whenever I'm sending stuff to friends, and um, that's a box full of like Christmas de decorations and stuff. Oh my god! Oh my god! But god, oh, I'm absolutely shattered. I think it's time to stop for something to eat again because I'm getting very tired very quickly. But yeah, it's kind of getting there just really slowly. It doesn't help because I still haven't got proper storage bags and boxes to put it all in yet. And um, I can't wait to get my bedroom carpet now and just get my bed up and it organised because this is driving me nuts. Absolutely driving me nuts. So I'll come back to you later guys. Well, I'm going to tidy this area up. It's not going to be put away or anything, but I'm going to at least yeah make it look neater. <laughs> I need to do something. Oh dear, dear. In my other cupboard it's a bit neater. This is kind of like my crafting stuff that was left over from Christmas and that. And my um oh excuse me. And my wax melting stuff and all that's in there. This is the packaging stuff that was out of Jamie and Stacey's box. That's there with all the what do I call it? Wax melts I got given for Christmas. Um I can't remember why I put that there. That should be in with posting stuff. Yeah, I'll stick that in one of them cardboard boxes in a minute because now my luck, Shadow's going to get in and rip that apart. Uh, Shadow's old cat bed along with my two cats that I previously had that passed away and the kittens have all used this this bed. But I wanna keep, I do want to keep it out in the room for Shadow but this was um this was um Kizzy Wizzy and uh, who's now Zeus decided to rip this apart. <laughs> I need to stick that back in and get that all sewed up um, before I can have this back out again. This cushion, one of the cushions that Heather made me. That's going to go out in the garden in the summer on the chairs. But yeah, and I'll slowly put my toiletries in here. Like I said, I don't like all this stuff in the bathroom. So yeah, oh my god. But it's exhausting, I'm telling you, but it got messier before it got better, but I'm getting there, so I'm pleased with that.
Hi everybody. <laughs> I'm just going out of taxi. I don't know what my hair's doing. Sorry there's not been a vlog for a couple of days. I stayed at the family house because um, and part of the last clip, I thought, if I think it's before this one, when I was doing painting, I got a really bad pain in my side. So I just stopped everything, went up to the family house to rest for a couple of days and just kind of chilled out. God, what is going on? Oh, seriously, it's all out of hairstyle. Um, yeah, but I'm back at mine now. It's bloody freezing because the heating's not been on for two days. But I'm back at mine now, so I am not going to be going up ladders to do cutting and painting anymore because obviously my ribs can't take that either anymore. It doesn't help that I was lifting up boxes and all that in my room and in the cupboards the day before, up and down the ladders. So yes, I'm not doing that. I can do bottom cutting in, that's no problem, but going up ladders and stretching to do cutting in. I can no longer do that either, apparently. Yay, sucks to be me. So, as you can see, cutting in. I can't remember what clips I've put on, guys. And um, cutting in's been done. So the painting of the walls is getting done in a couple of days. Oh my God, we've got hailstones outside. And then um, kitchen plinths, kickboards. I've been put back on apart from the sink one because that's broke so I need to get a new buy a new bit of wood to get that done um, what day is it today is it Wednesday today yes it's Wednesday today um, I've got a tumble dryer coming on Friday I'm having a cup of tea I've got a tumble dryer coming on Friday thank God because having the heating on a lot to have even though I'm cold I don't want to have the heating on a lot to run up the gas so to try and dry the clothes so I've got a tumble dryer so shadow's still up at the family house just now because because I was coming back myself I couldn't carry the stuff I needed to come back and her being quite heavy so she's going to come down later one of the kids or George will bring her down later and I carry her and whatnot I'd rather house heat up before she comes down anyway and tidy up some of the paint bits and pieces that I kind of left behind dead quick and um, just because of the pain that I was in oh I've got a notification from Alexa so I need to go and read that and stop blethering on I'll come back to you in a little while ciao for now so I'm just sat on the sofa I've got a cup of tea I'm just about to have a, a cheeky chocolate pudding from Aldi fire's on because it's absolutely Baltic in here absolutely chilly Baltic I've got to put the TV on with some YouTube for a bit and then go and straighten up my kitchen, straighten up in here, and then back upstairs to sort out my bloody room <laughs> that's never ending. You are probably sick of hearing it. But yeah, I really badly need a dust because where that laminate was done, the dust is still settling in here, and that the hearth on the fireplace absolutely covered again. You could write your name in the dust from it. But yeah, I suppose it will take a few weeks or so for the dust to settle kind of everywhere. But yeah, it feels weird in here without my shadow. Not literally my shadow. I'm talking about my shadow. My my pretty tat shadow. <laughs> yeah, feels dead quiet. So I'm not gonna go have my tea, have my pudding, and come back to you later. So I just thought while I'm sitting here, I'll do my blood pressure. My blood pressure monitor. <coughs> If you've been on my channel a while, you know that I suffer with hypertension. And I was in hospital before Christmas with my blood pressure. It was like 250 over, I think it was 186. Um, so it was, I was a stroke, heart attack waiting to happen, basically. So yes, I'm on um, two different medications now. I'm on, um, I call it amlopidine, but it's not. It's amlodipine and low starting. Um, medications so I took it a little bit earlier when I got in but because I was just kind of running about well not running about but I was busy I was just in I have had chocolate today which you're not meant to eat <coughs> and I was a bit anxious about coming home because I'm by myself kind of thing I'm fine now but again I've only just sat down so I was going to sit down for a couple of minutes chill for a sec and then and take it again. In the evening, it's usually quite good when I'm relaxed, but because I've been in pain for the past couple of days, 
and I said I've come back here and I've been doing stuff it's high it's kind of it's not nowhere near as dangerously high as what it has been um, uh, the doctor says if it starts creeping back up again the low starting that I'm on can go up um, to 100 milligrams because I'm only on 50 milligrams of that and I'm hoping that's not the case because after that there's no other medications I can go on for blood pressure so I really need to <coughs> try and keep myself calm which is who can do that do you know what I mean and just watch my diet and things like that not that blood pressure was caused by diet it's just unfortunately one of them things uh, my mum has hypertension as well so it's a family thing so when I'm taking this in a second when I'm switching it on I have to be quiet so I, I can't talk because talking raises your blood pressure so I'm just going to stop for a second and then put this on and let you just kind of see it watch it and obviously when you're doing that I have to keep my arm out straight so I'll just be quiet for a couple of seconds and then put it on So as you can see that's 156 over 124 so that's quite high at the minute it's not it's not bad but it is high because normal is 120 over 80 pulse rate is 85 so that's still good but again because I was talking so what I'll do is I'll pause it I'll stop this pause the video relax for a couple of minutes and then come back on and see if it's lower down um, obviously I'll do it again tonight when I'm properly relaxed and been in bed a good while if it's still kind of that same reading, then it's time to go back, back to the doctors for the blood pressure clinic and see if I maybe need to up the low starting um, for a little while. But yeah, I have had chocolate today and I've had nothing else to eat. So as I said, chocolate's not good for you at all. And I haven't been having decaf tea either recently. So again, that's something I need to go get tea bags. I've gone right off Tetley decaf. So if anybody can recommend a decaf tea that isn't tetley because to me it just tastes like perfume now i can't stand the taste then please leave a comment below because i am meant to be on decaf so yeah so i'm just going to relax for a couple of minutes and then i'll come back and do it again so it's been 10 minutes shouldn't really be talking because it raises your blood pressure again and i've just watched a, a hunting video uh, guy's hunting coyotes in his backyard because he's got farm animals so that's well, that's probably not helped but so i sat for 10 minutes anyway as i said it's high but it's not not bad high so i do need to stop eating the chocolate and definitely decaf tea bags so i'm gonna stop talking So that's 131 over 97, so that's already gone down in the 10 minutes. Um, and my pulse rate's 88. So that's good. So as I said, it's just a little bit high. Medications are doing its job. I'm still kind of, you know, if I wasn't drinking the teas, chocolates, I'm just a generally anxious person, it would be more or less normal. And the doctor's going to be more than happy with that. I'm more than happy with that. So, so this is the medication. I can't turn it around to where it's got my, show you the details on the back, but there's the, the starting that I'm on. That's the one that can be raised. Sorry, I'm missing a nail already. That's the low starting. That can be put up to 100 milligrams. Yeah. And that's the amlodipine that I'm on as well. They're just tiny white tablets. I was on um, Ramprel before. Uh, that was kind of working, but when it got to like uh, the five week mark, I started getting really ill on it and a lot of side effects and I was not doing good and my blood pressure had still shot up to well over 200 again um, in the doctor's clinic and that was on that blood pressure medication. So that's when the doctor put me on these two and these two are working. So I'm more than happy with that. Not got any side effects or anything with them. Uh, 
um, but yeah, so I'm doing good with them. So I just thought I'd show blood pressure and what it's like. So I do this at home. I don't. I used to do my blood pressure every day, but then I was getting, I was making myself paranoid taking it, and that's not good because it makes you anxious, and I have anxiety anyway. So now I just do it if I'm feeling a bit rough or a bit run down. I'll just check it. I at least do it once a week. Um at least once a week just to kind of keep a check on it myself or if maybe I'm getting a headache I sometimes get a little bit paranoid and I take it uh, do my blood pressure but yeah as I said it's these those medications doing really good so I'm chuffed so yeah I'm just sitting here kind of chilling watch as I was watching that video I was just finishing taking pain medications I'm just about to put this jumper on but I have to take it off to show you the to show you my bingo wings, <laughs> to show you the blood pressure monitor. So yeah, I'm just about to go and straighten out my desk that I didn't do the other day, like in my room, just tidy it up a little bit. Still need to buy the bags and boxes to put the stuff up my lo loft. I haven't done that because I've kind of, I haven't been out and about with this storm, and um, and then when that pain kicked in, I haven't been out and about. But I do want to go into town. I don't like going into town by myself just yet, just because the amount of pain that I've had since Christmas, and I suffer with dizziness and that anyway. So I think my eldest daughter, well, my firstborn, who's 30, I can't believe she's 30, she's coming down tomorrow with my granddaughter, who I call Bunny. Um, so I can always pop into town with her and pick up a couple of bags and boxes or whatever. Oh, I do want to pop into Poundland. Maybe do a little Poundland haul. So yeah. So yeah. If you wonder why my granddaughter's called Bunny, if you haven't been on my channel for long, all my grandchildren have nicknames. All my children have nicknames. All my grandchildren have nicknames, and they have done since they were born. I named them. That's what I call them. And just for security reasons, for YouTube, I will call them by their nicknames. I might slip up and call them by their real names. But I think my, even my daughters would prefer if I just call them with their nicknames. Um, so yeah, so my firstborn daughter, um, her nickname was Poppet. But I don't call her Poppet, I call her by a real name. So she's coming down tomorrow with my granddaughter Bunny. And um, yeah, all my grass said, all my grandchildren have got nicknames. There's um, Little Man, Cheeky Chops, Boo, but I can normally call him Boo Boo. Uh, yeah, Bentley. Boo -boo. Hang on, where have I got to? I've got to throw. Do you know what I mean? I've got ten grandchildren, see, so you can't remember all. Right, it's so a little man. I'm talking to them in order of ages. Little man, cheeky chops, boo, toots, missy, munchkin, bunny, chubba chops. Button and monkey. I'm hoping that's ten. Have I missed anybody out? I hope I haven't. Missy munchkin. Let me do it again. Little man, cheeky chops, boo, toots, missy, munchkin, bunny, chubba chops, monkey and button. Yeah. <laughs> do you see what I mean? And that's not even trying to remember their dates of birth. <laughs> so yeah, and as I said, all my kids had nicknames. They weren't like proper nicknames that I stuck to, it's just what they were called for like their first, like say year of life or whatever. And um, yeah. They sometimes if I'm shouting out on them, I'll call them by their nickname. Like one of my daughters is called Squeaky because her voice just goes right through you. <laughs> so she's called Squeaky. But yeah, yeah, I'm just rabbiting on. Sorry, guys. But I'm going to go off for now. Um, probably turn that. I've got a little blow heater on the room because it is, this house is Baltic. Absolutely Baltic. I walked into my room and it's like a freezer and the radiators are on. The heating's on full. And my bedroom is like a bloody freezer. So yeah, so it's a bit cold, that's why I'm putting this on. So I'm going to go now, guys. And um, yeah, I'll probably come back on later. But if not, I'll restart my kind of daily vlogs tomorrow. I've, I'm trying not to... I've noticed it's kind of just the same stuff I'm putting on every day. So I don't know whether you're just interested in just watching me general do my day-to-day -day thing. Whether it's the same kind of thing every day or not. Or whether it's getting a bit boring. I think it's getting a bit boring because I don't get that many views on them anyway. And um, yeah, and also I'm going to remember to turn the camera the other way 
because I've noticed when I'm watching it back, it's just like this black screen with this little bit in the middle. So I need to turn my phone because I've not got my tripod because my daughter's borrowed it. I need to get a new one. I've, um, I need to remember to turn my phone sideways so it takes up the full screen. Not that you want to see this on full screen, but you know what I mean. So anyway, guys, if I don't record anymore today, I will see you tomorrow. Oh, another thing is, can you just comment below, is anybody else having trouble with their upload time? Um, in this house, it can take up to three hours to upload. So I was kind of, when I'm waking up at like five, six in the morning to take my medications, that's when I was uploading my video because I thought, well, I might get more views if I upload in the morning. And um, it's taken, even like, there was like an eight minute video or a 10 minute video I had the other day that took well over an hour to upload I went that's not normal I've never had a problem before so I don't know whether it's this house or, or the area or what's going on as to why it takes so long I have no problem with internet it doesn't cut off I have no buffering issues or anything like that it's just uploading to YouTube takes so long so uh, if you can comment below whether you prefer me uploading at night like in the evening dinner time or late in the evening or do you prefer the morning uploads just so I kind of know what time to upload and um, yeah, and see if I maybe get a few more views that way. So if you just let me know in the comments below whether you prefer first thing in the morning, um, dinner time or like a, not late at night, like midnight, but I'm talking like maybe like a eight, nine o'clock in the evening and then I can try and set my times to go on when most of the views are on to watch. So I'm going to stop bluttering on yet again. <laughs> anyway, take care. Ciao for now. Mwah.